fun, it's fun to kind of relive that, and uh, you just remember all the moments, uh, you know, all the feelings of that debut, because everybody remembers they, they, their yeah. debut. You, you always have that, you know, the, the doubt of, you know, do, do I belong here? You know, can my stuff play here? You know, am I good enough to be here? I think every player has that, um, you know, has, goes through, has to go through that, and has to mentally get over that and say, no, I do belong here. Um, and you've got to see what your stuff looks like against the best hitters in the world, I mean, guys you grew up watching. Um, and I remember in that game, uh, you know, before the game we had talked about, you know, Lance Berkman, you know, this is a great fastball hitter. And I get in the game, and I blow a fastball by Lance Berkman, and you all of a sudden you realize, no, I do belong here. You know, you know Miguel Tejada is a tough guy to strike out. I struck him out. I do belong here. My changeup is good. You know, and you go through the lineup, uh, and you're going out there and getting outs that, um, you know, I walked away from there, you know, everybody thinks you can pitch in the big leagues, everybody has that, mo you think you can pitch in the big leagues, and then you get to the point where you know you can pitch in the big leagues, and I just remember believing that from that moment forward, I know I can pitch in the big leagues, there's nothing here that I can't do. Uh, every player feels, you know, when you get drafted by a team, like, you have that dream that you're going to spend your entire career with one team, and uh, you want to have that type of career, and, uh, you know, for me, uh, I got exposed to the business side early, uh, of going through the draft holdout, and then getting traded in the second season. Uh, it, I have no ill will towards the Diamondbacks. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, now that I've been in the game long enough, I've seen the business of the game. I mean, the GMs are underneath a tremendous amount of pressure to win and to construct teams. And so, you know, as players, you know, we get, you know, sometimes we get caught caught in the crosshairs of, you know, the decision making and what teams have to do. And so, um, you know, I understand that process even more so now. And you know, have a better perspective of, you know, different things that, uh, that have happened to me, uh, especially, you know, the you know, what happened to me in Arizona. So um, it's just a facet of the game that I had to re I got exposed to early in my career and learned from it and, uh, you know, really had some learning experiences because of it. I mean, I think every, play every player who wins their first team is always, uh, always has that feeling. Um, yeah, you know, or any young player uh, gets traded, or you know anything where the business part of the game comes into it, um, you know gets emotional about it. Uh, but now with enough time, you you understand the business even better, and you understand the decision making uh, to a higher degree. So it's unlike any feeling you ever have in growing up as a kid. Uh, I don't think as a kid you grow up and like, oh, I, w I can't wait to get traded. <laughs> no, you grew up dreaming you want to win the World Series. <laughs> so that that's where it's a, it's just a different experience. Like it, it, it's different than any experience than you ever dream as a kid, and it's a weird sensation to be traded away from one team, but another team traded for you. And you know, it's 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 you don't see it coming, and so that's where you get a lot of different emotions within the, within that. And so. Um, for me, I've just learned from it. You know, I, I understand what it was, and uh, you know, I grew because of it.